And remember, I don't smoke them. I just like to play with the box. Hi, this is Michael from Southern Fire Guitars, and I'm working on a few cigar box guitars right now, and I notice I'm going to have to make a few bridges. So I'm going to show you how I do that right now. What I'm going to use to make these bridges are these. These are dowels. Even though they are square, they still call them dowels. And I get these at the big box store. I'm not going to mention their name. You know the one. It starts with an L and ends with an S and has the O-W-E in the middle. Yeah, that one. Anyway, this one here is 3 8 and this one here is a half inch. And you can make a lot of bridges out of these two pieces that are 36 inches long. And it gives you two different sizes that you can use. Sometimes you need a small one, sometimes you need a bigger one. Sometimes if the big one's a little too big, you can sand it down a little bit to make it fit the box that you're working on. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is mark each one of these at two and a half inches. Got my little ruler set there, two and a half inches. I'm going to mark both of these at two and a half inches, and I'm going to cut a few of each size. Now that I have a few pieces cut at two and a half inches each, I'm going to put it in the vise and cut a little angle on each side. And I don't really mark this, I just kind of eyeball this. Like this, and I'll do the other side as well. Just like that. Now after you got your pieces cut like this, it's a big one and there's a small one. Uh, by the way, this is poplar right here. What I like about using these little dowels is you can be pretty consistent with the size of your bridges for each guitar. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut a little slit right down the middle of each one of those on the face for a piece of fret wire. Now to cut the fret slots in these little bridges, I would normally use this fretting saw, which right now I've used it quite a bit and it's not very sharp. And the blade, if you can see, it's a little wiggly, so it's a little warped, it doesn't cut all that straight. So, what I've done is I bought a brand new one from Sheffield, England. It's really fancy. Now, what's nice about this new fretting saw, well, you can see the size difference right there it is a little longer a lot better quality steel and handle look how nice it is also let me pull it out of the thing here it has this little plexiglass piece that moves up and down like this and you adjust it by just loosening up these little screws here and then you can adjust it to the depth that you want and then you just tighten them up and you can see how that moves nice and even up and down so you get a good straight even cut when you're doing your frets and it is also the thickness of the saw is 0 0.023 thickness which is the exact same thickness you need for the little tang the little end of the piece of fret that goes into the wood i think this is the exact saw that Stu Mac, stuart mcdonald sells on their website uh, just this one says made in Sheffield, England, and Stumac says Stumac. I did get this a uh, bit cheaper than the ones on the Stumac website. If you want any info on it, I'll leave a link in the description. Now I'm going to take my little bridge piece right here, and I'm going to just clamp it into the vise here at a little angle like that. And I've got my depth gauge set for the fret right there. And I'm going to try to cut a little fret line or fret slot right down the middle of this bridge. Oh, well, it's very sharp. Okay, there you go. Now you can see it's cut the same depth there. 
as it is there. Awesome. After I get all the fret slots cut into the bridges, the small ones and the big ones, now it's time to shape them. Now you could take uh, your file and just keep going like that and rounding it any way you'd like to do it. What I'm going to do here is put them on the belt sander. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little bridge and hold it like this and then when the sander is going I'm going to kind of roll it like that on each side a little at a time, a little on this side, a little on this side so I get it exactly the shape that I want and uh, you got to be very careful when you use the small ones or even the big ones actually but the small ones extra careful because you're very close to the sander, the sandpaper, and this will give you an unwanted manicure real quick. How do I know? Let's just say it happened to a friend of mine once. Now once you have your bridges shaped how you want them, you take a little fine sandpaper and kind of smooth them up a little bit. Then it's time to add the fret wire. Now what I'm using here is just medium nickel fret wire comes from cbgiddy.com and I'm going to go ahead and put it right in the little slot there take my little mallet with the plastic end and pound it in and take my wire cutters and just snip it off there's that one and we're going to do one of the big ones. There you go. And once you've got the fret wire into the bridge, you can just take a file and then just smooth down the edge of the fret. Or you can also just put it back on the belt sander right on the tip there and just smooth it over with the belt sander. Either way. When you get done, it'll look like that. Well, these two bridges are finished, but they're poplar, so they look kind of blah. So let's give it a coat of early American stain. One thing good about poplar, it looks good with any color stain. We're going to put some early American on here. There's two bridges. They look great. Well, that's a real easy way to make fast, consistent bridges for your cigar box guitars. And by the way, I made a few extra while you weren't looking. What does a poplar and fret wire bridge sound like on a CBG? Let's see! If you like cigar box guitar videos, you know, tips on building them and playing them and playing them and building them, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to ring that bell so they notify you every time I post a new one. Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I would like to say thank you to everyone who has helped me out by supporting this channel. Link in the description. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next one.